Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. You know, at least we ain't got to worry about losing this week. We're on a bye week. Um, so, what, you say, oh, Lordy, she heard that we don't play on Sunday. Honey, do less time. What? Honey, do less time. Um, I get accused of always deflecting when it comes to Dak Prescott and saying that, you know, I always look and put blame elsewhere with Dak and I never hold him accountable. You know, the thing that I remember what we used to talk about when, when the Cowboys used to say, we're going to make a Romo-friendly offense. Or when you look at, say, Brock Purdy or Jalen Hurts or even Josh Allen, that teams try to find more weapons to help those guys out. The Cowboys don't do that. They end up literally giving away weapons like Amari Cooper. You know, that, that whole trade there, the more you look at it, the more it really sucks. Because the Cowboys, now I want you to understand this. The Raiders traded Devontae Adams to the Jets, and the contract's gone. They didn't eat any of the contract. We traded CeeDee Lamb for a fifth-round pick, and we ate part of the contract. We paid more for Amari Cooper ourselves than what Cleveland played for his first year. And then for him to turn around and get traded for a third-round pick, you realize how bad a trade that was. And that's part of the problem we have. But now, here's an, uh, don't, don't take my word for it. When I say, because we can't run the football, play action doesn't work, and teams are teeing off on, on the Cowboys. This is a direct correlation to a problem on the offensive line. See, as a defensive lineman, you have to understand, it's the difference between stopping the run and knowing that they're going to pass. When they're going to pass, you put more weight on the front of your hands and you are ready to go upfield. When you're worried about the run first, you're basically reading, oh, they're passing. Now I've got to rush. And because the Cowboys cannot run the football and have become one-dimensional, you're seeing defensive players that are able to... Just, you know, we, we know we're pass rushing. We're pass rushing. Z can't run the football. Rico is not, you know, Derrick Henry. We're getting upfield and going after the quarterback. That's a cause and effect. Clearly, more pressure on the quarterback makes it harder to throw. The next part of the problem is, is the routes that wide receivers run and separation that they get. Now, don't take my word for it. This is Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman on Dallas wide receivers. I think the roots are terrible. I think they run terrible roots. And I've thought that beyond that this year. I think CeeDee Lamb has got to improve in his route running. As a quarterback, if you're not certain where the guys are going to be consistently, it's hard to play the position. I see guys lazy coming off the line of scrimmage. Sometimes they run. Usually if they do, it's because they're anticipating they're going to be getting the ball in the play. If they're not, they don't. And it all ties together. I'm not impressed what with the part of it at all. I just finished watching the Baltimore Ravens because I have them this week. You put on film of theirs and watch the receivers run routes, and they come off the football. So does San Francisco and Green Bay and others. But it's hard to play quarterback position if you're not certain how guys are going to run routes or where they're going to be. And I'm not speaking for Dak Prescott. Dak may say, hey, I think the routes are amazing, but as a former quarterback watching it, it's got to get a lot better. So we can add, from Troy Aikman at least, that the Cowboys receivers run terrible routes. And the thing is, is people will think, and they'll look and they'll say, well, that's a terrible pass by Dak. What was he thinking about, looking at? Well, you're throwing to a spot more times than not. The mesh point. 
the point where you think they're going to be. A lot of times when you're throwing the football, the wide receiver is still in their break. The quarterback is not looking at the receiver and saying, I'm throwing at the receiver, because if he throws at the receiver and he's going across the field, it's going to be behind. And so a lot of times we may look and say, oh, well, that pass was behind. Well, maybe the receiver ran that route harder and is a step further ahead. Or maybe he was lazy in the route, didn't think he was going to get the ball, and he's a step behind where he was. But consistently, I'm trying to throw this point. And if we're timed up right, you should be at that point every time. But if the route is, you know, I'm going to run, you know, a yard shallower or a yard deeper, then I'm not going to be at that point. And that's where you get turnovers. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say Dak Prescott doesn't make mistakes because Dak does too. Everybody does. But we can't just look solely and say everything is on Dak Prescott. Amari Cooper was a great route runner, incredible route runner. And unfortunately, the Cowboys said, you know what, for whatever reason, we're going to literally give him away and get nothing in return. And I don't know how you can put that on Dak. Um, I've got a bunch of things that I need to do today. One of those was, um, I've, I've, it, it's been crazy because I've been going back and forth here from the Red Brick House and um, in my house, uh, you know, Springfield. And so Rhonda Lovely Sparks and her wonderful husband sent a package to me. And uh, I said, Tracy, did uh, I said, did you see a package um, for me from Rhonda and her husband? And she said, yeah, I see a package for you and me from Rhonda. I was like, oh, I thought it was sent for my birthday. And as you find out, being a married person, there is no such thing as you. It's ours until it comes her stuff. So let's check this out. Oh, Miss Tracy. Okay, there is. That one's actually, there is something for Tracy. Okay, I'll let her open up her thing. I'll do my thing. I got the greatest fans in the world. I also, too, I have to go work on this roof and get this thing done. Um, I actually have to. I've got some pork skins that were sent to me, and they got misplaced, and I didn't know exactly where they were, but I have them here now, and I'm going to do a taste test. Mr. Holmes from Andre Green, and Andre... I need your Giants to beat the Eagles this week. Coach, you're the greatest. Just wanted to take time out and say thanks. I would like to thank you for inspiring my wife, Rhonda, on her YouTube channel and your lovely wife with uh, the, her gift of a T-shirt. I hope the gift for me um, as a thank you will give you years of culinary enjoyment. Andre D. Giants. Now, I'm curious, is he a giant, or is that because he's a giant fan? Okay. Oh, that's a sheath right there. Oh, man. We crafted the most exceptional knives the world has ever seen. Oh, my goodness. This box, this, it came in a, in, a, in a box. Oh, okay. So, this is not one that you just put in a holder. This is one that you can carry around. Wow. And see, this is... Whew. Wow. That sucker is sharp. I like having the finger hold in there so that way it doesn't lose its grip. This reminds me of some of the knives my brother who passed away made. Andre, I appreciate this, man. This is nice. And what is this? This is like... The story of it. I'm definitely going to have to read all of that. And the care and maintenance and everything else. The Mats, Matsudo family. Appreciate it very, very much. Um, and I'm going to put this to use. This will be my game day knife. We'll have to pull it out. Sacrificial. 
Game day knife. No, we're not sacrificing the knife. We're using the knife for the sacrifices. Thank you very much, Andre. And um, there you go. I appreciate y'all. As always, we have nowhere to go but up. That's all. We're, that's the only way, place we have to go is up. Everything is just crap right now, except the knife. Peace.